Around four years ago, I created a video called The Real Way to Increase FPS in TF2. All I did was show you how to install my personalized, modified version of Chris Max frames for TF2. It also showed you how to revert TF2's DirectX level to 81. And as you may have guessed, the video is now outdated to hell. DirectX level 81 has been gimped by the passage of time, with graphical glitches and some effects just not working at all. TF2 has had many updates, and Gunmetal was the one that made DX level 8 really unpopular due to the fact that weapon skins were only available on DX9. Unfortunately, many users on weaker PCs can't run DX9 with favorable FPS as DX9 is too intensive. Or can they? For this video, I will show you how to get the highest FPS for DX level 9 so that you can run TF2 and enjoy many things, like weapon skins and actually seeing the Pyro's flames. But before we start, download and install Notepad++ as it is better at modifying configuration files. 7-Zip and WinRAR are also helpful if you're using an OS that is not Windows 10, as it already has a semi-functional integrated zip viewer. Also, here's the specs for my PC that I will use for the benchmark. First, let's take a look at a demo, a 10 second clip of King of the Hill Harvest at full graphical settings. Harvest has always been known as a really stressful map on PCs, so this will make a really great benchmark. For 10 seconds, TF2 got a minimum of 70 FPS, a maximum of 140 FPS, and an average of 89 FPS. Great, now that we have a reference, we can start with the configuration. You can download the modified configuration as you see here down in the description. Remember to first launch TF2 and turn down all the graphical settings manually, as changing it afterwards will result in the configuration file resetting itself. To install, just unzip the file with either 7-zip or WinRAR and place the raw autoexec.cfg file in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Configuration Directory, and just start TF2. However, if you want to change some of the settings, just open the CFG file with Notepad++ and listen to the following. Matt DX level. This depends on your graphics card, so experiment with other values. Some see improved or worsened FPS at different DX levels. As of now, DX level 80 and 81 are broken and unsupported for the new TF2 updates. Stay above 90 to take advantage of all the things that TF2 has to offer. Sprays, shadows, and facial features, ragdolls, and gibs are disabled to give maximum performance, but can be changed to what you'd like. I would recommend enabling R underscore eyes and R underscore teeth, as it is less creepy that way. Also, immediate ragdolls can provide a competitive edge as it can warn when a spy is backstabbing or a teammate is killed, but long-lasting ones are practically useless. If you want it, uncommon enable ragdolls and comment disable ragdolls. One of the many things I left enabled in this configuration is the glow card effect. It has become more useful in recent updates, helping against spawn camping spies, so I recommend leaving it enabled. The sound section is disabled, as for the most part it offers little to no performance boost, but if you crave every little bit of FPS, enable it. Mac-Q mode is also dependent on your CPU. Leave it to 2 unless you're one of the 15 people left with a single core CPU. If so, experiment with other values. That's pretty much it. Now let's look at the same exact 10 second clip, but with the configuration file. Now we got a minimum of 94 FPS, a maximum of 175 FPS, and an average of 114 FPS. That's almost a 22% increase in FPS, and keep in mind this is without testing it with different DX levels, downscaling the viewport, or decreasing the resolution. I hope that this updated guide has helped you to achieve higher FPS for TF2 on DX level 9. I hope that you have fun with the skins and other DX9 supported features. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me via the comment section or my Discord, and remember to like if this video helped you. Hey, I'm here to announce that I have a Vidme channel now, and I would like if you were to, you know, follow me on it. Uh, get me up to 50 so I can be verified. Uh, I want to do some unique stuff over there, so uh, it'd be great if you could show some support. Uh, Thanks, and uh, I, I think Vidme might actually become a uh, great competitor against uh, YouTube someday, but until then, uh, just, you know, start using it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.